All right, back at it again. Got some systems of linear equations. This is gonna build off my last video for my students where we talked about how a system of two linear equations or the system of any equations, the solution of it is the points of intersection. So the solution of this system of this linear equation and this linear equation would be this x, y coordinate. All right, and my students for the most part did really well for the ones that have done it so far. Some of you guys at home playing video games, making TikToks, not on your remote learning. Please get on it, stay on top of it. So, one solution of a system of linear equations is the point of intersection. All right, that's where they're equal. That's where those two equations are equal. They are the same at that point. That is the solution. Now, so I'm gonna state that. That is one solution. That is one solution, right? You get one point. Now, there are other points in time where you get some different types of answers. So I'm gonna draw those. And this is the new stuff that my students will have. On Thursday is, I'm gonna try and draw this as accurate as possible. Where is my eraser? Not super accurate, but for the sake of this, hopefully some students right now or whoever you are watching this video notices that doesn't intersect. Hey, Mr. Walters, I don't know what the answer is. I can't answer this. Yes, you can. You can answer this. The answer is that there is no answer. There is no solution. And why is there no solution? Because if these lines are, and this goes to vocabulary, if these lines are parallel, so if they keep going forever and ever and ever, and they have the same slope, which makes the parallel, parallel lines have the same slope, they will never, ever, ever meet. So another type of solution to a system of equations or system of two linear equations is there isn't a solution. So no. Sometimes lines just don't intersect. All right, and that is only when they are parallel, okay? When lines are parallel, so if you see a graph that looks like this, and they're parallel, then you're gonna put no solution, because there isn't one. There isn't a point of intersection if they don't meet. Now the other fun one, and this one's sometimes difficult for some students to understand because they only see one line actually. So despite this being, let's say, um, an equation of let's do y equals 2x plus 2 and maybe three y minus six x equals six. These are actually the same exact equation, all right? This, if I was to simplify that, it would be that, all right? If I was to put this into y or uh, slope intercept form, 
I would get that. It's the same line. Now, to come back over here, a point of intersection is a solution. So a point of intersection is a solution. This one they don't intersect, therefore there's no solution. This one though, well, they intersect there, they intersect there, they intersect there, they intersect everywhere because the line is on top of itself. All right, so they're constantly intersecting. They're overlapping. They intersect everywhere. So if they intersect everywhere for infinity, because this line keeps going forever, there's an infinite amount of points, there's points everywhere on this line forever, infinite solution. All right, so when we're talking about systems of linear equations, you can have one solution, you can have no solution where the lines are parallel, one solution where they intersect, and then you can have infinite solutions. And for my students, for anybody, if you see, if you have a question that says, give the solution or what type of solution the system of linear equations is based on the graph, and you have a graph of one line, despite the question saying system of linear equations, and you have one line, by default it's that. Because you're only gonna see one line, especially if it's printed in black and white. All right, you're not gonna see two different colors. All right, you're gonna see just a black line, one line, and if you see one line, it's automatically infinite solutions because if you have a system and you have just a bunch of lines overlapping, let's do a third line. All right, I just added in what, if we can do 2y equals 4x plus 4, extend that down. Now it's a system of three linear equations. It's still infinite solutions. It only intersects at one spot. It intersects. And, I mean, not one spot, intersects at an infinite amount of spots everywhere. But you're only going to see one line. And you're going to see one black, probably, line. And if it's a system, if it says system, if it says system, one line means infinite solutions. I hope I said that a lot right now. Hopefully that was enough to sink in. For the fun of it, let's add three lines in everywhere. Let's add in another... Parallel line, no solution, still, because this one will never intersect any of those. Let's add in a third one here. What if I had another line that came in right there? That's still the point. That's still the point of intersection. They all intersect right there. All right, still one solution. No solution, infinite solutions. These are the only ones, and I wanna, I'll explain that by, let's get another color going. Why can there not be two solutions? Why can't a line or a system of lines have two solutions? Well, if I want two solutions, that means that I want another point of intersection, but I can't, what did I do with my black? I can't put another point over here, and I cannot I can't curve these lines. Ah, wrong color. Because the definition of a linear system is that they're linear equations. They're linear. They're a line. They're a straight line. You can't curve them. It's impossible for all of these to curve back to intersect at two spots. You either have one solution, no solution, or infinite solutions. I hope that helps anybody who's watching this video on systems of linear equations looking at their graph representations. Thank you for watching.